Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today is Cinco de Mayo when I'm getting into this little project right here. Uh, what I have got to do, because for me it's that time of year that I got to get everything of mine inspected and back on the road. So, <clears throat> what I have going on with my little 2005 Hyundai Accent is when I put fuel in this thing, the fuel line that's up there, hopefully it's not too dark, you can see it, um, that comes down in here has like a uh, breather tube that's kind of tack welded to it. So that has been corroded and is leaking. So it's spitting out an EVAP code for me, which brings on an engine light. And since this thing's still like two years away from being able to uh, be inspected without uh, having to be plugged in and it's okay to have an engine light, that means this has to be fixed. So we have a Rock Auto tape box. That's always good stuff. And I have ordered a whole new unit. And so what I believe is going on is that where these tack welds are, are actually corroded and leaking fuel. So the car leaks fuel uh, when, I, when I'm actually gassing it up, not while it's sitting or anything like that, but still I can't be that guy leaving a puddle of gas uh, everywhere at a gas station. Plus the stuff's kind of expensive. So let's get it taken care of. And we are going to start by undoing these four screws right here which I already started doing one and it was a little bit tough but I'm gonna go ahead and get into these and then oh yeah that one's a little bit easier and then we'll see what's next what should have been one of the easiest steps in this process here we are you can see oh still in good shape you do need to reuse these um, on the new part over there so Oh, of course, that should have been the easy part. Had to put a little bit of uh, PB Blaster on that thing and let it sit for a minute. Now, the next step that I'm about to do is to come in here with a little brush and try to clean some of the loose stuff up because I'm about to have to take apart a whole bunch of connections. And you can see in the new part, like here is one where the fuel goes and here's one of the, um, I'm not sure if it's a vacuum line or what that's called, and then another one. So there's one, two small ones, one, two medium ones, and then one large one for the fuel. So um, each time I have about to try to start taking these apart, like so, um, then I got to start to shimmy those hoses, and hopefully the hoses are in good shape or else I'll be having another problem. Here's the other medium one. All right, so I'm gonna have to try to do this and get back in a sec. I'm gonna try to get this, and this might be tough to watch, but I am. Okay, there's one. Now those two are the main fuel line or the fuel intake and the other part of the small breather. Okay, so this is one of the small lines. Oh, these are also scary. And then I believe I'm gonna need to take off, can you see that? Yeah, this bolt and to release this because this is kind of an attached thing on the new part that goes right up to the top of this. So, Let's see if this is going to cooperate. It would be wonderful if it does. Because all of this, oh, all right. I was gonna say all these hoses down here are covered with probably road tar or maybe whatever they sprayed the bottom of the car with. Okay, so I'm going to take this bolt out and it is a 12 millimeter. I was just having a thought that, all right, here we go, that I believe, looking at this line that I just took off this side, I believe it goes up and connects back into the top of this where there's another hose, so it's going to be like maybe a small piece of rubber hose, so that's not too bad, and then I believe the only things I have left are the main fuel fill and the medium-sized hose next to it, but it's... Only, I'm only really bothering with this entire replacement because I can't 
There we are. That's a little corroded, but thank gosh it came out. Um, can't be leaving gas everywhere I'm going. Oh, here we go. It's starting to move now. So I believe I'm disconnected up top. And yeah, that oof, sand falling in my face. All right, before I pull that all totally free, I need to get to these uh, these over here. So this uh, the large fuel fill has it looks like a 10 mil. Yep, 10 millimeter. Let's see. Oh, we're turning it. Looks a little corroded. I'm not sure if I'll have to replace this. But, so far, looks like we're able to move it. Okay, I'm still battling these things. Oh, but I finally got this smaller one. Free, yes. Oh yeah, okay. So I am unable to find my large channel locks. So I might just do it the old fashioned way and try to get my knuckles in there. Come on you horse's ass. Uh. Well, just like any of these little cars, not a whole lot of room to do anything I have this idea all right I'm pulling the top out so I can go ahead and slide this oh this is so much grit in my face there it comes okay so oh man it's still coming all right first look just as I'm doing it. Wow. So somewhere I, uh, is all this corrosion, which is what is actually leaking gas. Wow, that's ugly. But I do need to save this little piece and reconnect it if I can. That seems weird. Some sort of a filter it looks like. All right. so. That filler line is out. And let me see it. Hopefully, the new one looks close enough. Now is when we are hopeful that the hose that goes to this actually meets that and is about the right length and all those things. So we'll get to first, I got to do this and connect this piece and then we'll get back in a minute all right let's see if we can't do this in theory this looks simple enough it's loosened up first and and it's ugly but hopefully reusable so this is the part that we apparently need I'm not sure that liquid actually goes through here it's just more of a breather of sorts something like that and like that or so. So the theory would be to go ahead and install this new part with this hose reattached exactly the opposite as I just did it. So I am going to put the main fuel line on first and then then dip this down and in and stick it up and uh, see if this all works out. Let's see if I can't get the camera set up. 
Now this could be a disastrous angle. And at this point, it's not that I don't care. I just want to get this back together. I'm actually about to go inside and make tacos for my whole family. So I really got to wash my hands. Okay. Feels like it's on there. Good. Let's see if we can't. Don't really want to get much dirt on this. I'm going to kind of hand put on a couple of these hoses so it's at least almost in the right spot and the small one huh I must not be doing this right because it seems to be too easy I want I want to get a couple of those screws put in real quick now just to kind of hold things in place and maybe I'll put the gas cap on. I'm just scared to death of getting a bunch of dirt and grit down the pipe here. So I'm just gonna put these two on. And yeah, put this on just so I feel like I'm saving the. Now anybody that's ever done, you know, this kind of work with this you know, remanufactured type of Chinese parts. It's interesting because I, I need to put uh, that 10 millimeter bolt back up in here. But if you can see this, <laughs> this bolt that's in here, it's supposed to be sort of pressed and it's got a clamp for this hose, this metal hose that goes up and attaches up there. But as you can see, that bolt head is like <laughs> pinched up there. So that 10 millimeter is gonna, hopefully it'll make it in there, but it's gonna pinch might need to use some force to get it up there and get it started. Yeah, I might have to put that on the camera. Do that. <laughs> Almighty. Uh, other than that, I'm hoping it looks like the main hoses fit. I've got the, the main, it's got a little bit of play. So I'm, I'm hoping that once I put this, um, this clamp back and I'm going to set this. Can I reach it from right here? Oh, let's see if I can do it with one hand on the camera and come on pop on there I'm at a bad angle all right I'm gonna have to put this camera down and try that but basically I'm gonna slip those on it's still not giving up there we go slip that on a little further Okay, so I've just been working on getting everything snugged back down and this main um, clamp for the, for the main fuel hose is pretty much the last connection I've got. Feels pretty darn tight right there. And we're definitely just behind that main flare. So we'll see very shortly if it worked so this is the plastic guard that you can see there's two bolts up on top unfortunately the nuts are an odd size but it kind of clicks in place I had to cut these out because these are the mounts that are supposed to go into these holes uh, but it's all right it's zip tied in there and I'm feeling really good about it because it's kind of like right up against there it keeps the road grime in the away from the tire here so Anyways, I'm about to throw the tire back on and I'll come back with a, a check-in soon. I've got to kind of finish up what I'm doing here and kind of wrap the video up tomorrow. See if the code's going to clear. The car now has over 250 miles on the tank. I didn't, um, the, the, the engine light didn't go out on its own, but I did reset it and I've been driving it for a week was able to get a new inspection sticker and also a couple of new front tires and for a little Hyundai like this 
we're talking about $54 per tire and that's pretty awesome uh, plus an alignment so the car is good to go that fix seemed to have worked uh, I put gas in it and it didn't leak out on the ground so I'm expecting my mileage to be going up especially with tires that are holding air because one of them was leaking found out it had a bad patch in it so anyways uh, I'm gonna call that a good fix and I appreciate you guys uh, watching with me this long on this uh, cheap car repairs uh, kind of line of things that I do um, right next to me is my brand new uh, Ford Maverick that I just picked up today and that's a whole nother thing but anyways appreciate you watching along and I'll uh, keep going with this little uh, Hyundai car I'm actually gonna keep planning to drive the snot out of this thing because I kind of enjoy uh, being able to shift my own gears with a with a stick and whatnot but yeah I encourage anybody out there to save some money drive an old junker like I do and uh, get your hands dirty get outside and I will catch you on the next video